Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. Lockheed Martin had offered to sell its F-21 fighter jet to the Indian Air Force in February 2019, and it had also implied that India could follow an acquisition of F-21, with a separate purchase of the company's F-35 stealth fighter jets. Although the F-21 shares many of its major features with the F-16 Viper, the F-21 is a radically different aircraft compared to the F-16A, that first flew in 1978. The US Navy asked Boeing to develop a new fighter jet with the same basic shape as the existing F-A-18, but with a larger fuselage and more powerful sensors and engines. The aircraft was called F-A-18E, but it was a new fighter jet with totally different capabilities. US officials continue the old designation for a new aircraft, to make the program seem less risky than it actually was. According to latest reports, India has issued a navigational area warnings in the Bay of Bengal, for experimental flight tests to take place from 6.30 to 10.30 for 18th, 19th and 20th of this month. India is likely to test its indigenous cruise system for limited range, due to the integration of the Manuk engine for the first time in the missile system. According to latest reports, over 20 Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force are lying with Hindustan Aeronautics for overhaul, and are not available for combat. While Hindustan Aeronautics has 15 overhauling lines, it could service only 10 aircraft in 2018. The schedule to complete the overhauling was 14 months, but Hindustan Aeronautics wanted to raise the time to 22 months. However, Hindustan Aeronautics has not been able to meet even this target, as it takes around 27 months to overhaul one Su-30. The Defence Ministry is going to decide the fate of the 1,800 crore rupees deal for buying over 93,000 carbines for the Indian Army, at a high-level meeting that is scheduled to take place this week. Karakal has been selected as the lowest bidder for the contract. But after receiving several representations in the case, the Defence Ministry has formed an oversight committee to look into the case. The government has already finalised contracts for buying two types of modern rifles for the Indian Army, and now it has to decide on the fate of the carbine deal. The second set of evidence given by Indian Air Force to the Indian government, contains complete flight path of the Pakistani F-16 which crossed the line of control, and was later shot down by the MiG-21. The Israeli-manufactured Falcon Airborne Early Warning and Control aircraft was airborne even before the 24 Pakistani jets were airborne, and had recorded signature of the F-16 much early in its flight path and was monitoring it till the moment it crossed back the line of control, and was later shot down by the chasing Indian MiG-21. According to latest reports, Kalyani Group will set up the first ever missile MRO facility in Hyderabad, and it will be established in the premises of Kalyani Rafael Advanced Systems, which is a joint venture of Kalyani Group and Israel's Rafael Advanced Systems. The joint venture will enable indigenous production of high-tech air defense systems, anti-tank systems, and new generation precision guided systems. According to latest reports, India is going to upgrade its surveillance system along the China border, with the purchase of at least 25 more long-range reconnaissance and observation systems. The cost is around 2 crore rupees per system, and the Indo-Tibetan border police currently has only two such systems, and it will get 25 new systems to get real-time footage of activities along the border areas. Oh,